All right, we found the picture of the captain's quarters. Neat old boat. It says, it's a 57 foot Chris Craft Romer. So what can you tell us about the captain's quarters? Okay, captain's quarters belong to my brother, John. Um, he, he moored it on the Detroit River. And in 19, oh geez, my mom's 70th birthday, uh, we had a birthday party on the boat for her. We all went to Michigan and uh, had about 30 people on the boat and it was a fabulous day for her and for all of the guests. But he, he chartered the boat out was really what he had it for. And uh, his, he would charter it to um, whatever time a person wanted it. And some of the people that he chartered it for, one of them was Janet Jackson. And she chartered Capstan's Quarters for herself and her immediate um, agent people around her and she chartered another barge for her employees for her people who supported her and they had jet skis and they had all kinds of, of um, water activities on the barge she had it fully supplied with food and drinks and everything on the barge but now in the captain's quarters was her and three or four others. And there was no smoking and no drinking on the captain's quarters. And that was, and she stayed on there. That was her rule or that was your brother's? That was her rule. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was her rule. Uh, and so um, that, that was a better part of a week, I think. And so when she left, she gave my brother some tickets to her next concert there in Detroit and he took his granddaughters and who were teenagers and they all got to go and meet Janet Jackson and uh, just That's have a great time. What kind of work did your brother do? He was a salesman for uh, Pittsburgh paint and glass and he sold contracts to car dealerships he would go to japan several times that was part of his clientele and he did quite well he did very well um it's rumored that he owned a strip club he owned johnny's spot <laughs> <laughs> but it i mean he owned it but his daughter run it was that in detroit that was in Inkster, michigan just out yeah, just outside of, uh, well, it's West Detroit. Yeah. Well, whatever hap happened to the captain's quarters? Well, eventually uh, he sold it. Um, he did. He kept it several years, but he got to the point where he couldn't do it. And he was a licensed captain, or whatever you call him. And um, he could park that thing I mean, you see how long it was, 50-some feet long, oh. wasn't it, 57? Yeah, and 57 feet. he could maneuver feet. that thing through um, Causeway into, we had to pull into uh, somewhere, and he had to do some maintenance on it. And uh, not maintenance that, you know, he had to empty it, put it that way. <laughs> and... Uh, he pulled that thing right in next to that pump thing and parked it just like you would a, a car. He was very good, very good. Uh, how long has, or when was this house that you live in built? This house here? Yeah. Uh, dad built this. My dad and mom lived in Michigan. They owned their own home up there. All of us kids were married and moved away. And in 1970, he was diagnosed with cancer. And they moved down here 
Dad built a little shop in the back, and they lived they lived in the stone house for a while when they would come down and get the property ready. And then he built that little shop, and they stayed in there when they'd come down from Michigan. And he built this house. Him and my uncle, along with John Smith and some some Foz hardware and you know, he he didn't do the plumbing or electrical. He had to hire that out. John Smith dug the basement. And the basement dirt is what my backyard is. So uh, it's a full garage basement with two two different rooms. It's got a laundry room and a what we call a freezer room. Where mom had a freezer in. Right now it's just storage for me. But um yeah, dad built this house in uh seventy and seventy one. And he died in, in seventy three. So but he had, you know, they had a garden. He planted that walnut tree out there. It was about a 10 foot walnut tree and he put a fence around it. And, you know, there's a lot of things here that are still here that they they did. Uh-oh, there's William waking up. All right, well, I think we've done a good job with this, I think. Well, I've, re I've redone everything since I bought the house when I first, uh, after mom passed away. She passed away in 96. And a year or so after that, I bought, I bought it from my siblings. They told me I didn't have to buy it. They said I could live here as long as I want, not to worry about anything, but I guess I took after my mom. Uh, if I was gonna be here and I had the job, I loved the job. And I was, it was going to have to be mine, so. And I've redone the floors, doors, windows, um, stuff like that, porches, decks, um, all along, so I've, I've enjoyed it. All right, well, I guess, uh, yeah, we'll today or tomorrow go shoot some footage of the stuff around here, and then I guess that will be all we need. Well, thank you for doing this. Well, I think we did good trying to summarize it up because we have so yeah. much information here. Okay. All right. Well, that's it then. Okay. I'm taking this video in November of 2022. And this is what the house looks like. Front yard. I'm going to walk down here to the creek and see if maybe I can get lucky and find an arrowhead. Never found one, but there's probably still some down here. I see you guys fly fishing down that way a little bit. But that water is cold. bridge that goes across it. I don't really know where to look for these arrowheads. I've never found one, but I would assume along the banks. Down here at the creek, still looking for arrowheads. Such a beautiful place. Man, it is cold out here. Holy smokes. While I was out hunting for arrowheads, I decided to walk down here to the old homestead house. Looks like that got added on to. Wonder what's down there. Like a snake. I don't know what that is.
wonder if that was the old well. An old chimney. I suspect that those rocks came from the creek. Looks like someone's been over here recently. Another, well, there's two chimneys down here. Another old chimney. I don't know, it looks like the power meter got pulled. So I guess nobody is doing anything with it right now. It's a neat old house, so maybe I'll get the key and go walk around the side. It's freezing out here. I didn't find any arrowheads, but I did find a William. Oh, there he is. He's just starting to crawl. That little boy, he's just starting to crawl. What, can you laugh? Where are you going? All right, look at him go. Do you need any help in the kitchen? Come here. Come here. Come here, come on. Don't play that. Uh oh. All right, he loves his mirror. I'm gonna put his mirror right here. Let's see if he can get it. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Come on, you got it. It's right here, look. It's right there, come on. Oh yeah, you got it. 